Hi guys, welcome to Sewing News Live, a fabulous show sponsored by Brother. I am so excited to share with you today a lot of things. So it's almost Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, well see that doesn't, the only part that's exciting for me about that is everything because I don't cook. <laughs> so I get to go and enjoy all the food, but I have been making decorations. And sorry, we're like a minute late. I have a very special guest for you today, but uh, I've had two little helpers here today, by the way. My two nephews, we've been babysitting. We have been spoiling them rotten. We went fishing. We went, hmm, yesterday, fishing. They all got in the hot tub. <laughs> we made cheeseburgers last night and they had a campfire and we did not burn the whole yard down, which is good. So, all right, I'm just making sure you guys are all in. Hey, Jesse, nice to see you. So if you guys would do me a favor and just give me uh, an emoji or a heart that lets me know that you could hear me. I have Cindy Hogan today, which you all love. She is so knowledgeable. Although I call her <laughs> the guru for software, the stuff she does with the Scan and Cut is amazing. So today we're talking about the Scan and Cut. I'm going to share with you some promotions and sales with Brother that you don't know about yet. You're going to be the first to know. And of course, it's going to start this week. And a few other fun things. All right. So before I get started, I showed this to you guys last week on my live show. This. Everyone said, what is this box that comes with the Luminaire? So I'm just going to show you really quick, and then I'm going to bring Cindy on here. So this box, don't just think it's nothing, because this is really cool. This is one of my favorite parts of the Luminaire. The lid lifts off. See these little things here? These are the two notches that you need to pay attention to. But this lifts up. I never get this quite right the first time, because it kind of flips around. Hold on. Flips around, goes over. This goes up or down. Obviously, you have figured out what this is now, an extra thread rack. You all, if you were in Novi this week, heard me talk about uh, top stitching and stitching with two or three spools of thread. This just lifts. I conveniently have the machine here. I had to kick the boys out because they were picking their embroidery design for tomorrow. They're embroidering hoodies on tomorrow's show. This opens up, and instead of having to pull this off like we normally do, boom, that sits in place. So there is your rendition. A few of you messaged me and said, please show that again at the beginning of the show. So there you go. All right, so I see you all rolling in. I can see that you can hear me. I don't see anything. Uh, everybody is uh, rolling. By the way, if you've never been to my shows before, pop in, say hi, say where you're from, because you never know if your friend is sewing with you. And I see a bunch of you are ready for news about the scan and cut. No pressure, Cindy, right? So with no more further ado, let's bring Cindy in here. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Oh, I put you on mute. Hold on a second. Oh. Sorry. There you are. <laughs> I thought I'd, we were doing sign language there. So welcome, Cindy. Thanks, Angela. Good to see you this morning. So for those of you that don't know Cindy, she has Cynthia's Embroidery. She was on the show a couple weeks ago, which you can still go back and watch that episode. We are so grateful that Brother is sponsoring this show. We are both brand ambassadors for Brother. And today we are going to talk about the Scan and Cut, which is one of my favorite tools. But this year, guess what? They came out with something. Oh, yeah. I hear an echo just a wee bit on your end there, Cindy. Um, All right. They came out with something so cool. So instead of having to move your dial to pick the depth of the blade, it does it by itself. So Cindy, first off, everyone wanted to know what's going on at, or what went on at Houston Quilt Fest. Was that place crazy or what? It was absolutely nuts. I don't think we stopped until the last day. It got a little quiet, so I was able to play a little bit the last day, but basically Thursday through Sunday, Saturday evening, we were nuts from the time we got there till the time we left. Yeah. So if you happen to come by the All Brands booth, which both of us were working, I was demoing the Luminaire. She was demoing the Scan and Cut. I don't think she ever left that place. But the things that you were making. So before we get started, I'm going to bring you up. Do you have any of those little small? These things are so tiny. So you got to just show one of these. All right. So here's this itty bitty dog. He came out of thing this fabric 
Oh so my God. I, I, think one, I can even get the little bones. It is so cool. That is cute. Then there's, hi, hi, Minnie. Can you see her? Oh my so, God. Yeah. So it looks big, but compare it to her finger and you'll know that that's not big. <laughs> I told her to hold it close to the screen so we could see. That is actually a very, very tiny cutout. Yeah, especially the round area around her bow. Oops, I dropped her. Oh, well. So those are some of the things that we were cutting. They happen to fly home with me. I don't know how. I've got little bits and pieces everywhere in the suitcase. I think <laughs> I may get rid of those by the end of the year. Drop them off someplace. Well, if you didn't, so those of you that didn't go to the Quilt Fest, you obviously know that it was a huge festival. Maybe you'll go next year. That's probably one of my favorite events. But then we both were, Cindy and I were both in Novi last weekend, and that was a great event. Wherever you can go and you can meet people in person and get inspired and play with these machines in person, it's awesome. So, Cindy, what is your favorite part of the Scan and Cut? Because I think a lot of people have asked me, they know that there's two new Scan and Cuts. Mm -hmm. One is sold by a dealer, which is actually my favorite because it has a lot more bells and whistles on it. But they want to know what are your favorite things and what are the wow features? The auto blade detect is the favorite thing that I, I have to say, because it's got a little spring action in it. Can you all see this blade? See that little, how it just pops out? I'm going to bring you up there just a little higher. Show that again. And I'm going to make you, wrong one. I'm going to make you large. Okay, where is that thing? I don't know, but. I'll show you by yourself. Maybe that'll show. Can you guys see it okay? There we go. I don't see the blade. It's teeny tiny. This is the fabric blade. Lift it up so just a wee bit higher, like closer to, there you go. Okay. So yeah, that's teeny tiny. tiny. It looks like a candle from this end, <laughs> but that's and, teeny tiny. Yeah, it, it's teeny tiny. And that little spring action there is what makes it adjust your blade depth. And so when you, whatever fabric you put in or whatever, media that you put in that actually detects the thickness of it and cuts it w perfectly. It's beautiful. Then they have another blade. I guess I should have had these closer to me. Oh, this no one's chunkier. Oh so yeah, this, you can do that. Definitely. This, this is for your deeper items. So things like leather, um, anything that you know that's going to be chunky. The other one is your fabric blade which I love having a dedicated fabric blade, but I'll have to say I actually kind of use it for my vinyl too. Oh, really? Because so it does delicate cuts. If we all know that we're supposed to keep our scissors, either paper or fabric, we all know that the same thing comes with the blade. I mean, it's just common sense. And I, I learned that the hard way, one time taping It's So Easy TV, and I had my cut, I was doing a cutout for, I don't know, one of my skirts or something, and I had it perfect but we have a lot of people that show up on set and there was somebody that came in that was cutting cardboard about that thick and I didn't know it. And they were cutting for, I don't know, three hours. And then I went to cut mine live on set. <laughs> it worked, but there were a couple pieces that were missing and I thought, this is crazy. This worked perfectly. Well, that's where the fabric and the paper don't combine so well. <laughs> yeah. I keep a cartridge, one of the, an extra cartridge for this that just has an F on it for fabric. So then anything else I decide to cut, I don't dull it. That's a good idea. The other thing about this one is that it is so quiet. I don't even know it's in the room with me. It's cut it before I actually sense that it's done. Okay, so that I did notice. I was playing around with it here just a little while ago and uh, I'm teaching my nephews how to cut out things. We're doing crafting day. They're not on set right now. The sugar had filled them, so they're gone <laughs> with the wind. <laughs> but they're going to be on set tomorrow because they're going to be embroidering. So we're doing the babysitting thing for a couple of days. So they were watching the scan and cut, and I was I was actually staying very close to them because they were so amazed at this thing. It was so quiet; I hardly knew it was, what was going. And they cut it. They cut up all these little things. It was. They love it. <laughs> I might have to um, guard it when they leave. <laughs> But they, now they're going to cut out uh, little placemats and little name tags for Thanksgiving for the table. So they're doing productive things as well. <laughs> Get them to cut out a coloring book page with double sided out of HTV. And then they can color inside it on a T-shirt. 
Oh, that's a you coming over tomorrow? You know it. I actually need to <laughs> smile, so maybe I will. Well, uh, for those of you that don't know, obviously we're live here. And Cindy is, are you in Tennessee today? I didn't even I ask. I'm in Tennessee today, yes. She is in Tennessee and I'm in Michigan, but we both can see each other on the screen. So we always test everything about an hour before and the boys are here and they're like, we want to come on there. So they wanted to know if they could sit in the corner where you couldn't see them to watch. And they were going to do that until Wynn gave them a better offer. So, but they'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> but you might, I might have to bring you up live and you could teach them that because they have two, they each brought two t-shirts to do something to. And I have vinyl, I have, all, I have everything here ready for them. And they both picked out designs on the machine embroidery. So we'll see. All right. Sounds like fun. So, now, the other difference in the two machines. So you have the DX225, which is sold. The Scan and Cut is sold at a brother dealer. Yes, ma'am. And then they have the 125, which you can find in other places. So the difference of the two is that there's more designs on the 225. Isn't there quite a few? Quite a few more designs. It also reads our PES files, our PHC files, and the new Luminaire PHX files, which the the mass model, the 125 does not. So for those of you that don't embroider, that just went right over your head. But if you embroider, the designs are in the machine here. They can read each other. So I did a blog post just a few months ago on that fall. Uh, you'll see it online, which I'll take you to the blog in a little bit. But uh, I was able to take the designs from here to the scan and cut. It cut it out. My appliques cut out perfectly. I brought them back over and sewed. It was so easy. The other cool thing about that is when you bring one up that's not color coded, you can actually make a card or something drawn to match your embroidery. So I thought that's kind of cool. That's awesome. Um, the 225 scans, tw um, 12 by 24. The 125 scans 12 by 12. And so more coming. The 1224 is the part that for those of you that are on my Instagram, which the tag is at Angela Wolf Fashion, I posted something just a couple days ago. I'm cutting out, I'm doing reverse applique on a skirt. And so I've taken the skirt into little sections and I'm cutting it out on the 12 by 24. Kind of cool. I'm going to do that for a jacket too. So they'll both I'm, cut 12 by 24, but the D, the 225 is the only one that scans the 24 inches. Okay. That scans it. All right. Well, I needed that part because it was going to scan in my skirt and then I was going to, well, I'll let you know how it turns out. I just finished my Christmas top here. Well, this, oh, is, like this one's the Thanksgiving top because it's not red, but it okay. has sparkle. <laughs> and now I need a matching skirt. So, you know, next week is uh, the birthday sew-a-thon week. Cindy, are you going to be sewing with us? I don't know if I'll be sewing. Maybe I'll be setting up a sewing room. I think you're going to be unpacking for those of you that have followed Cindy before she just moved. So by the way, uh, speaking of fabrics and materials that the scan and cut will cut, I have watched you cut things as thick as, I have a surprise for you, Cindy. Look what I found last week that you already found. We both were thinking of each other and <laughs> guess what this is. Okay. Look, let's just give everyone one. <laughs> okay. What color do you have? I have green for you. I thought I was going to surprise you with it. And then you found it. Yeah. And then I was going to surprise you. I have blue and I have red. And I'm going to bring this really close to the screen. Let me put this solo. Can you see what's on here? So what do you guess this is? And we are going to test next week. Well, she's already tested the cutting. I'm going to test the embroidery on it as well. Uh, can you guess what that is? I'm going to say that unless you were at the Novi show last week with a whole bunch of us that were just laughing, laughing to death because Cindy had tried to surprise me and I was trying to surprise her, um, that you won't guess what this is. It, it looks like snakeskin, I would say. It's about, what would you say? Like, oh gosh, I am not good with millimeters, but it's, it's not very thick, but it is tough. It's um, I, I, less than a millimeter thick, I would say, or maybe a millimeter. It's so not. It's not really thick. leather with snake embossing, a belt. Nope, that's not it. Alligator print, faux leather, vinyl, <laughs> faux leather. I think I see someone on here that might have gotten it. How, Christina, how on earth did you know this? I've never even heard of this stuff. 
Fish skin. I can't believe anybody caught it. I can't either. Christina, you definitely get the golden button on that. Oh, everybody's saying vinyl, cork. It feels like cork. Alligator skin. Nope. It is fish. This is salmon. Well, mine's different. Mine is um salmon skin. So mm -hmm. this we should be able to put on the skin and cut, cut out, which she's already tested. She's going to show you. But so you have to picture. I saw this and I thought, you've got to be kidding. You guys know how much I fish. We fish tournaments and we clean the fish and we give the fish usually on the weekends. We'll give them to different shelters or places that, you know, where people want the food and they we stock their freezer for a whole year. What happens to all the skins? They all get ground and turned into fish food. But guess what? I told Wynn he has to watch the YouTube videos on tanning because he is going to now have a job for me. <laughs> no, I have a job for him. To Cindy? You and I are going to be stocked on fish skin. <laughs> well, I can't wait because it, it was very cool. And she was talking about how it's translucent and they do some kind of process to it. And I'm going, oh, this is just a little bit weird. We have, we happened to be sitting there eating some lunch about three o'clock in the afternoon while she's doing her spiel. And I'm going, oh, I got to get some of that for Angela. <laughs> yeah, because you found another fish. Didn't you find like a wolf fish or something? Oh, yeah, I've got wolf fish here too. So I was cutting fish out for Angela. Okay, so I'm going to bring you up higher. Hold on a second. It's a wolf fish that she has. So how cool is that? And I'm going to bring you up by yourself so they can see these. Look at, she's already used the scan and cut to cut this. That, and this one's tougher. That's thicker than mine. Yeah, it's it's thicker and it's tougher. It's it's more like a hard flat leather. That is cute. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> this one's even thicker. Actually, I take that back. This is salmon. So we did sewing machines. Oh, the you found the green. There was no green when I went there. See, Cindy and I were thinking of each other. I got blue for her. She got green for me. Yep. <laughs> okay, so everyone, uh, tell when they want a purple one. Tell when to catch her a purple one. Yeah. <laughs> do that. And someone's saying during the war, they made shoes out of fish skin in Denmark. And actually, really? I talked with the people that had this, and they said that um, it was in Iceland where they found this, and that's where they... Um, it, it, it's a new thing for me, but I saw someone on here. <laughs> Amy says, that's what Wynn needs is another job. Don says, yeah, a honey-do list. I know we're so bad at that, aren't we? But someone said, um, no, Arnell, Wynn didn't catch the fish, but he's going to start. Trust me. Um, Christina said she's at a horse show and they use it on boots, which is really cool because you can, did you see all the purses? You can cut this. And all I was thinking of the scan and cut, you could cut out little, cause you know, you could scan in the piece and it would show you exactly how wide it was. You would preserve the fabric because you could move things around. Those little wallets and little gifts for Christmas. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. I love fabric that's new. And I love when I can use the tools that I have to make it even easier. Hey, Cindy. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Did you, um? on that one that you said was a little bit thicker, because this also relates to vinyl. With the auto blade, did you have any issues or is there any tips that you could give the viewers for that? The coolest thing about that is when it is thicker, I did use the regular auto blade. It detects if it needs to cut it twice. I wow. didn't have to tell it to do it. It went back and cut it twice for me. So I thought that was pretty slick. That's like, <laughs> that. this is so cheesy, but that's when I always say to my nephews when they have a thermos with uh, <laughs> hot chocolate or then they have cold water and I'll say, how do it know which way it's supposed to go? <laughs> that's the same thing with the auto yeah. blade. How do it know? So far, I have cut a piece of, a couple pieces of cotton. I've cut a couple pieces of Ultra Bond on the back and I've cut a piece of vinyl and I did not have to run any of them through again. It knew, it cut it, and it was just right spot on. It's amazing to me how it senses the thickness. And if it, it decides, it'll do about a millimeter at a time, I think. So I don't know the exact specs on that one, but it decides if it needs to cut it once, twice, three times and does it itself. And it'll right. tell me, like it told me with a thick with a thick fish that it couldn't use my fabric blade. It could not. 
it could not. So this, it can't be so cut with that. Kind of like the luminaire where I, if you screw up something, it always tells you you can't do that or you can't use this blade or, I mean, not blade, you can't use yeah. this with whatever. That, you know what, all the help that we can get when we're using so many mm -hmm. different things, you, can, you can't know everything about everything. So the more help that the machine gives you, it just makes your life easier. I see a lot of questions. Um, Don wants to know, does the scan and cut cut cork too? Beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Mm -hmm. I did a blog post on that. Hmm. It wasn't specifically on that, but I used cork with it on coasters for the uh, one of the summer projects. That's very, uh, I've watched Reen cut cork. That Rhonda's on here, she cuts cork all the time. Uh, I see, oh, hey, Kay, I see she just popped in. Uh, where can you find it? Hey guys, join me on the show tomorrow and I'll get the sources for you because we just pulled this together. We just both flew back and I'm um, getting some sources for you. So I'll be live tomorrow to show you that. But this was mostly just fun of seeing that I can't believe the scan and cut cut through this perfectly. It, it's, I mean, it's it's just wonderful. All right, so on the scan and cut, um, oh gosh, where did the boys put it? <laughs> I had it right here because I was showing them where they have to put all the tools away in it. <laughs> There's I, a compartment now for the tools. You want me to turn mine around, my camera around so they can see that? If you can, if you don't mind. I'll, you know what, I'll I bet you they took it. They were going to go fishing and I'll bet you they took it on the boat. We do have electricity on there. So, oh goodness, here we go. What's the age okay. limit for scan and cut? Nothing. <laughs> so here's my I'm going to, Cindy, I'm putting you on mute for one second because it's getting a weird glimpse, but everybody can see you. So I'm going to bring you up. Let's see. Let's see if I can bring you up so they can. There we go. And see if it's, if it still echoes, I'll just talk for you. Oh, that's because I've turned my computer. Oh, there. You can see the compartment. So can you guys see the compartment down there? See? Yep. Uh, she's th that opens and closes. It's got a magnet. Personally, that's one of my favorite things. And it will come home. Very cool. All right. So while she's coming back around, are we seasick yet? <laughs> no, we're not seasick. I do that to them every week when I'm trying to walk around and do stuff. So. Uh, good question. Let's see. Can you link the scan and cut with a Mac? Jenny wants to know. Yes, you can through Canvas Workspace. So I actually have that here. I'm going to bring this up on screen. So this is, let's see if I can make us small and that big. I never can get these quite right. There we go. Okay, so that's Canvas Workspace here. Do you see this? So you actually do this. It, you can download these projects. In fact, a while back, I hadn't been on here in a while. I have my projects in here uh, where it shows what I've been working on, pattern collections. All of these things are in here. It's so easy to do. So you're on your computer, you get all this ready, and you're good to go. But look at all of these projects. I was looking at some of the ones I was trying to show the boys. Uh, these here, these bear-shaped bibs, because my sister just had the twins, and they thought those were so cute. So, but I can't spoil the gifts for Teresa in case she's watching the show. But <laughs> so um, there's four or five but, projects get posted a month and they're free. They live there forever. I think that's one of the coolest things that we have. You get all the cut files, you get a PDF of instructions, and you get a video to watch. Every month? Every month. I didn't and know. And they're that. up there since the beginning of time, since that's we started. Awesome. What exactly, okay, Lynn wants to know what exactly is Canvas Workspace? So first off, I went to canvasworkspace.com. You could go, you know, just do an internet search for it. If you, you know, but when you get the machine, you'll have all the links to all this, but go ahead, Cindy, what would you uh, give them advice on what to do first when they come to this so they don't get overwhelmed or anything like that? It's a great place to get a new, pro to get a project if you have no idea what you want to do. It's a great place to learn your machine because it, you know, if you pick a project that you're not that interested in, you don't care about, if you mess it up, who cares? I personally like to pick something that I, you know, I might be interested in. So if it does work out right the first time, then I'm happy and I've got something that I want to use, but they have, it lets you work on your item and on a bigger screen. 
instead of look at working on a small screen. The beauty of the Scan and Cut is you can do everything pretty much on the actual machine without having to go to the computer. But if you want to do something on the computer, you can. This is a component of it. There is a version of it for a PC that you can download to your computer. I saw that on mine. I think there was an update now to it, which was really cool. Oh my gosh, I just saw this Thanksgiving one on here with the hand and the little turkey. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I think the boys are going to want to redo their name tags. That's pretty fun. And I mean, all the cut files are there. I use those cut files a lot to use with the software um, to turn them into red work designs or appliques because it's already created for me. I don't have to figure out a new piece of artwork and it does a beautiful job. These are really cool. You also, all of your upgrade kits run through your canvas workspace. So if you have rhinestones or the sticker kit or the stamping or embossing, or now the roll feeder, that all runs through Canvas Workspace. That's really neat. So for those that don't know, there is an entire, this was one of my favorite, this was one of the main reasons I got the Scan and Cut a couple years ago, The an older version, was because of the rhinestones, because I love the bling. And so I wanted to put it on bags and just some fun things. And that, at first, I sat down and I thought, this is going to be so complicated. 10 minutes I had it figured out and it was not the side of the brain that I normally use. <laughs> I'm used to the embroidery and sewing. It was so simple. I'll definitely have to get a demo for that for around, you know, before the holidays because it's very easy to use. The only tricky part I had <laughs> was when I got too carried away and I'm brushing the rhinestones around and they weren't all facing the right direction. So that is a personal problem, not a machine problem. <laughs> Oh gosh, these things are so cute. I think, you know, I didn't even realize all the ones for different holidays. I saw some Valentine's in here, mm -hmm. St. Patrick's Day. I might have to uh, think a little bit ahead of the game instead of doing things last minute. This is a cute one, this little tree. That is nice. So if you're having parties and things like that, I mean, this is, oh, Dawn says she's gonna have to mention the scan and cut to Santa. Okay. <laughs> oh, you've been, Dawn, I think you've been good enough. Surely, surely. Rhonda said that's a good idea. Every, I, I think the boys already took Santa's gift. <laughs> I got to get my scan and cut back. Okay, Debbie wants to know, is there a way to search? Uh, I do I'm, not think there is a way to search projects at this time. I'm just looking It's a good at suggestion, there. though. I yeah, that's wrong. It seems but, like there seems like there is. Yeah, and also I'm looking um, on the right-hand side at your lower end. You can change the screen the way it looks to make it bigger, smaller. Look, I mean, it is so fast to scroll through here when you have the smaller images. Uh, also, I'm just looking at, because this is a little bit different than the last time I was in here. I love when, when they keep making things easier to use. That's my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. uh, is this the same canvas as for older models? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Marcy, because I haven't registered my new model yet, and I'm still getting all of this. So, yes. And then here's the pattern collections that we were talking about. I'll just bring this up solo so you can see this. Click these number four. Ones. Oh, go ahead, Cindy. Click the pattern, um, the tattered lace number four. That one's fun. I don't have it activated. You should be able to view the designs, though, somewhere. Okay, let's see. Oh, show all. There you go. So you get to see what you're gonna, what you're purchasing. That is cool. So when you purchase different upgrades, which you can get at the dealers, they have a lot of specials on those too every uh -huh. once in a while. So this one is so cool. It has all the I stuff. decorated my scan and cut with that one. Oh, did you really? I did. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so speaking of this, by the way, I had this because this is a Sewing News Live and you are the first to hear about a lot of different things, there is a special coming up this week and I'm giving you three days advance notice, but don't tell anyone because everyone else is not gonna hear about it till the 23rd, but you will. There is for the roller, if you purchase the roller feed and vinyl bundle for the 225, which is the newer, you know, the newer model that we're talking about that you can get from a dealer, there is a $50 gift card rebate, which is awesome. So Cindy, speaking of that, I wanted to mention that sale, by the way, that sale will go at the dealers, go to a brother dealer from 1123 all the way till the end of the year. 
Which I think is another thing that we should say is that if you buy the dealer model, there is dealer support. I think that's a huge portion of buying a dealer model. That's a very huge portion. A lot of people have asked me that, um, you know, why would you, what's the difference? Well, first off, there's more perks. I mean, there's more perks on the machine, <laughs> but also I have watched, look, look at what you do at different dealers. You go there to teach, you have, you know, a lot of the dealers have special scan and cut classes, uh, which until you get your hands on it, sometimes people can't wrap their mind about around everything that it does. So mm -hmm. I think that's a really good point. So tell us about the roller feed because this is the one thing and I was trying to download this photo from Cindy earlier and I could, thankfully all of you are on Facebook, but my Facebook wasn't even downloading. Um, she, so there's a roller that goes at the end. You can, how long is it? Do you know? How six long? feet. Six feet. It can cut six feet of vinyl. So. You can, and anywhere awesome. in between. So if you don't want to cut six feet of vinyl, you don't have to cut all six feet, but it allows you to cut longer vinyl than 24 inches. Do you happen to have the photo on your phone or anything of the one that you did last week when we were in Houston quilt fest? Cause she had one that I saw the photo. It's so long. I don't know if they can tell how long it is, but I'll bring you up here solo. So then maybe they can see, can you guys see that? Okay. Just hold it straight for, Oh yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. So all brands is obviously the booth that we were working in. That's a six foot long banner that she was able to do with the scan and cut. That's cool. Thanks, Cindy. And you'll notice the tattered lace guys were in there too. Oh, is that what that was in the middle there? Mm -hmm. The thimble and the scissors. That's cool. I'm trying to think what uh, buttons. A lot of people are saying they already bought their model, which congratulations, enjoy. So if you uh, don't follow Cindy, Cindy travels quite a bit and she teaches the scan and cut quite a bit. So if you're ever looking for and you also do, um, you do some of the projects on the embroidery. I mean, not on embroidery, on the Brother Sews blog. Yes. Projects on there. Easy to follow. Easy, easy to follow. So these are really cool. I'm going to bring, uh, let's see if I can just bring up the, any other things you want to mention about the scan and cut? And if you guys have questions, you better ask before I let her go clean up her studio. She'll be back again in a few weeks. But for now, this was just like a quick rendition of what to expect, it's especially right before the holidays. I think a lot of people are kind of what's new? What do they want to add to their maybe I could get for the holiday gift for yourself or somebody else. And this kind of give you just a quick rundown. And when she was on here last time, many of you said, what is the difference between the two? I think the scanning is the big the scanning and the size is a big one. The, yeah, being able to scan 12 by 24 is huge. Being able to recognize the PES files and the P, the embroidery files off of our machines is huge. Dealer support's huge. I mean, having somebody to actually physically go in there and say, hey, I'm trying to do this. What do I need to do? It's kind of a great thing. Um, one thing we do need to say is that the old mats do not work on the new machine. That's a big one. That's a big yeah. one. I mean, and it's good for them to know that. Okay. So I have to say I have, well, I have a handful of mats, but I just always keep, you know, I clean, keep them clean and, and uh, except for the one, <laughs> well, now that we have the auto blade, I won't have to worry about this, but um, how many of you show a raise of hands with a great emoji <laughs> have cut through your mat? <laughs> We've all done it. <laughs> I will not. One of the first times I was doing something, I was watching it so closely and I walk away and all of a sudden I hear this. Oh yeah. It was pretty ugly. Cause we think it has to be, the blade has to be deeper than it actually does. We forget that there's pressure actually put on it by the machine. Even if it's zero pressure, it's got a little force. So we all <laughs> think, Hey, it's, Hey, this is thick stuff. We got to have it at the deepest setting. No, not so much. Oh gosh. Tell Arnell that Santa's you, you've been good. You've been really, really <laughs> Arnell good. Arnell <City> says <laughs> Santa's I think Santa's gonna have his list full this year. Everyone's saying they want the scan and cut. <laughs> and Rhonda said she didn't wait for Santa. Okay, so Marcy wants to know, and we probably can't really answer this because all dealers are different, but do they take trade-ins on scan and cuts? I know they take trade-ins on sewing machines. You could train in your dream machine for the the luminaire, which I talked to a lot of friends that are just keeping both because what they're using one for sewing and embroidery, but I don't know. Scan, I wouldn't think you would trade in the scan and cut. 
Scanica, they're generally not, at least the ones I've been to, they are generally not. Um, but there are people out there, there are sites out there, especially on Facebook, that you can sell your sewing supplies. There you go. No, with stuff. Other, of course, but no. You know, if you look in certain groups and stuff, there's always, I, I join a lot of those. There's, I, there's a lot of sewing selling groups to where if you're done with that one, somebody else may love to have it. Previously right. loved machines are a wonderful thing. Exactly. Okay. So Marcy, and uh, I was just going to get this to this too. So you read my mind. The drawing mat is super cool. And that's what I'm going to show the boys tomorrow. So they want to know what's the difference between the drawing mat and well, it's, it's the drawing pens where you put the pens in if you okay. haven't seen that, but go ahead, Cindy. I understand what you're asking now. It's like draw the, it does the same mat. You'll, you'll use the exact same mat. It's a cartridge that you put in instead. That's the word I was looking for cartridge. <laughs> so instead of having the blade, you grab this little thing that looks like a garbage can and there's a button on the back. <laughs> Punch it and you put your pen in there instead. And that goes into the machine instead of the blade. Which is very cool. And oh, by the way, there's a special place to hold the cap. Oh, that's perfect. There's a little hole in the top of it. Very nice. Pop it in there. So. And that's then that's the the scan and cut. But here's one thing: you can use any pen, can't you? Still? Not in this one, and not in this particular canister. There is a universal pen holder that you can get that will let you use any pen that you have that fits inside of the canister. So okay. the big, Sorry about the, that guys. I get you so excited, but I have that other pen one, which is what I was thinking of. I didn't realize they were different. So they're two different My little pen. animals. That one's around, it's in its 20, $20 range somewhere around there. Heck I pay more than that for my pens, So <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. So what you can do, if you guys haven't seen that, uh, you can go to Brothers YouTube page because I know they have videos on there. Um, you can scan in a drawing and it will draw it. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. It is so cool. It'll draw it instead. You pick draw on the machine instead of cut. And it knows which cartridge you've got in. So if you have your cutting cartridge in there and you've chosen to draw, it won't let you go any further. Hmm. So that. By the way, on tomorrow's show, for those of you that join me on Wednesday behind the scenes live at 1.30, the boys will be back here with the scan and cut. And I'm going to teach them how to do the drawing tomorrow. So they'll give you a quick demo on that. And if a seven and eight year old can give you a demo on that, you know that you can probably figure it out too. Although <laughs> although I sometimes I, I, I don't say that because uh, the three year old can uh, fix my computer better than I can. But <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, I um, know. So yeah, one uh, other thing. Yep. There is a scan and cut website dedicated to scan and cut and there are projects on there as well. Oh yes, there is. Those mm -hmm. are done by the scan and cut crafters um, affiliates. I'm just trying to, I had that website up here. Um, let me see if I can find it's, it real quick. It's being a little slow today. So yeah, so is mine. I don't know what the gremlins are out. I'll find the link for you guys and I'll post it here underneath the questions because mine's slow too. If, or if somebody's in here that knows that actual link, just post it in here for us because I follow that. Julie has a ton of great projects on there. Mm -hmm. If any of you follow Julie Faith and Balzer, she's a brand ambassador for Brother and her projects are amazing. She has a ton of YouTube videos on that too. Just real quick, easy to learn, easy to follow. Um, I have a few people in here say they just got theirs. They're so excited. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for the information. Okay, someone wants clarification on which one is the newest. It's the one that we're talking about right now. The DX225 and the DX125. Those are the two newest. The DX225 is the one with all the bells and whistles that you will get at your brother dealer. All right, Cindy, last, before I let you go, uh, the there's a couple other attachments that go on the scan and cut. Is there anything else that you would recommend for someone who does a lot of DIY? I mean, I've seen where it cuts the metal, things like that. So it doesn't cut metal. It embosses the metal. It embosses metal. Because we, we don't, we don't suggest that you cut metal with this. Yeah. It's no, got a scanner in it. So you, mess it you guys have seen the embossing, which is so cool on tin and things like that. So that's an extra attachment that they could get. They can get that. They can get, um, Stamps, stickers, rhinestones, 
Foiling is new. That one, I haven't gotten that one yet. It hasn't arrived yet, but the foiling kit is new and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it basically lays out down a layer of glue. You put the foil over the top of it and then there's a tool that will push the foil down into the glue. All right. So peel away the extra foil. We're going to definitely have to show that one because that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. When that one comes off, we'll do that one. Um, those, th I think that's about it. I'm probably forgetting one, but there are quite a few little extra kits that you can get. Something I will tell you that I would get that's not a kit, just personal preference, this set. Oh yeah. Let me bring this you up. This is teeny tiny. I remember. It looks like a dental office. <laughs> uh -huh. This is worth both of them because it's such a teeny tiny thin blade that or thin spatula that you can lift up that and the scraper are two things that I use all the time. That's awesome. All right, Cindy, I know you have to get moving on your new studio. Thank you so much. Everybody's saying thank you for popping in. Okay. So by the way, before Rhonda, you are the best. I swear. What would we do without these girls? So I'm going to bring this up here. Rhonda has just posted the website. I will also, she posted a link for you guys. Thank you, Rhonda. Yes, <laughs> Rhonda's, thanks. Rhonda's computer is working way better than ours today. So thanks guys. And Cindy, thank you for your time coming on. Everybody loves it when you're on here. And we're gonna see Cindy again on my Wednesday show before Christmas. We've got a, a fun program planned for you once she gets moved into her space. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. So right now you see the bare wall. So next time maybe we'll have something in here. Oh. Don't be too hopeful on that. <laughs> I've been in here for three months. I still have beer walls. <laughs> I see something behind yours. <laughs> good luck on your she shed, Cindy. All right. <laughs> thanks. You have a good one. Merry, right. uh, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Whatever uh -huh. holiday we're going to now. I can't believe it's Thanksgiving. I know. I can't either. Oh, it was 70 crazy. degrees here last week. It's not here. It's mm -hmm. snowing. All right. Y'all have fun. All right. So before, thanks, Cindy. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. So before I take off, though, I have a few more things for you guys. A couple more specials and promotions that I, because you're watching the show, Sewing News Live, it's sponsored by Brother. Cindy and I are both brand ambassadors for Brother. Uh, here's some more sales for you that you might want to keep in mind because, you know, we all go shopping on Friday. Well, I used to go shopping. Now I usually shop Thursday night online. And then Friday I go to the bookstore and get cheesecake. <laughs> but stop in your brother dealer because wait till you hear about these sales. So I'm going to post this on a PDF file later for you guys to go through because it's a lot to remember. But if you're looking for some pretty cool machine rebates, first off, ibroidery.com. We talked about that last week or two weeks ago, the weeks kind of go by fast. There is a brother promotion of 25% off of iBroidery. Do, do you remember all those designs on there? They work for any of the brother machines and you could just pick what size hoop you're looking for, download it and you're ready to go. It's instant embroidery gratification. 25% off from 11.23 till the end of the year. And then here's a few more sales that are from November 23rd, to December 22nd. So you've little under a month to get rolling on that, but it's a good time to go to the dealer and maybe check out the machines and see what's going. So here you go. I'm going to give you the rundown. BQ 1350, BQ 950, the NQ 1300 PRW. You've seen me use that before. NQ 1600E. So if these numbers mean nothing to you, just go to your brother dealer and you'll see what they have going on. NQ 700 PRW and the NQ 900 PRW. So these are all on a promotion for the whole coming up period of time. The accessories are all for the dealer 15% off. Okay, so accessories 15% off 1123 to 1231. Ibroideries 25% off and that is on ibroidery.com. The accessories are at brother dealers. And the Roll Feeder Vinyl Bundle is a $50 gift card rebate form from the Brother Dealer. So you got all the sales things. You can always message me. I will be on tomorrow for Behind the Scenes Live. But before I go, I have to show you one more thing here in case. Oops, wrong one. Hold on a second. Here we go. 
did you see what's going on right now with the brother blog? Let's see if I can get this up big for you. <laughs> Everybody's saying thank you, Cindy. If you're still in the lobby, Cindy, and you're listening. So here, here's on the brother blog. I was going through here. There's so many new fun things. So don't forget, this is blog.brothersos.com. I will type that in for you if you need that. Let's see if I can squeeze that in here. I think I have it somewhere. There you go. Blog.brothersos.com. So on here, I just recently put together a quick tip, a luminaire for the stitch change. You'll see that. You'll also see a few other things we've been working on for that. There's a few quick tips. There's this faux suede belt, very cute by Joanne Banco. We have foot of the month. Don't forget the foot of the month with Joanne. Remember she was on here uh, last time. She'll be on here on the next show, hopefully, to tell us what's coming for December. But there's the foot of the month, a cloth napkin with a ribbon trim. Very cute, very cute. Thankful table runner. So these are all things that would be great for the holidays this weekend for the Thanksgiving table. All of these are quick and easy projects. Give thanks tutorial. You have free design in the hoop napkin rings. Uh, everyone loves free designs, Joanne. So thanks. We also have some more quick tips. Here's that monogram that I showed you guys that I did for my nieces, which is really cute. It'll show you some tips for that. And we've got classic leggings. Really easy project. And <laughs> foot of the month. There's that, that, that was the pumpkin from last month. So you saw those last time I was on. So these are the new things that you have. The YouTube channel has a whole bunch of new things as well. So go to blog.brothersos.com. I just want to click on this foot of the month club because many of you asked about this when Joanne was on last time. We love Joanne. She has such cool stuff on here. Okay, so it tells you what machine, what hoop. There's the foot. What kind? She used metallic thread. She's showing you how to use this foot, which her photos are fantastic. You can't miss out on this. I had a blog last year that you can go back to that showed how to make gift bags, and I used something very similar to this. But look at how beautiful that is. Great napkins. It won't take long to get those up, right? <laughs> I know. Very fun. So, all right, let's see. So that, if you have any questions, I'll answer them real quick. Otherwise, I will be on live tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. I can see some of you. Oh, there is a filter button. Cindy wants to make it clear. Cindy, you want to come back on and explain this? <laughs> she said, sure. Okay, Cindy, I'm bringing you back on. Everyone, it was a fake leave. Everybody's coming back. Hey, Cindy. Hey, hey. Let me get, bring get you up here. Your... Okay, guys. Um, where are going? Hold on. There you are. Hey. All right. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, so go to your Canvas workspace and I'll show you where it is. All right. Let's go back, guys, to the Canvas workspace. Uh, I knew there was neither one I could remember, remember what the icon, what the icon looked, looked, like. looked like. Oh, don't feel bad. So, All right. So go, go to the, the, the project, project page. I'll go to Canvas workspace, back to where I was at the beginning. See, there's the new download that's showing up. I'm going to bring that up by itself so everybody can see that. So there you go. That was a, okay, up here. Project, my projects? No, no, right, no where, right, you where you are. Okay. Okay, okay bottom, bottom, left, left, bottom, bottom, bottom right hand corner. corner. That one, that, that, one that looks, looks like, like a funnel. funnel. Oh, that's a, I thought that was a filter, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so yeah, so you can filter through categories. This is, oh my gosh. Talk about losing it. I'd use this all day yesterday when I was trying to show the boys to pick out what they wanted to do. Yeah, that would be a search engine, <laughs> a search of some sort. <laughs> so you can pick like gift bags. You just pick what you want or unclick what you want, mm -hmm. select all or unselect all. Very easy to do. Parties and events, click OK. And then what comes up are the things for that. Very, very easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thanks for not leaving because I, you know what would have happened. I would have left here <laughs> and the boys would have said, we were watching your Facebook live. Don't you remember what we were doing yesterday? <laughs> Again, the seven or eight year old to the rescue. So thanks, Cindy. Everybody's You're like, Hi, Cindy, thanks. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cindy. Bye. Bye. Well, since we're both going to just give you an exit, everyone. I hope, let's see if I could bring this. Hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. If you're going to be on here tomorrow live, 
I will be on at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cindy is going to be getting her house ready for Thanksgiving. So thank you all. And thanks, brother, for sponsoring this show. If you guys have any questions, we'll be back. But other than that, have a good Thanksgiving, everyone. Or I'll see you tomorrow live at 1.30. Bye. Bye.